from medieval cathedrals and stained glass to medieval coat of arms, medieval art is still fascinating us today. The Book of Kells is an illuminated manuscript believed to have been created in 800 AD. This book has been decorated with elaborate illustrations and illuminated letters. Each page was drawn with ink on calf vellum and shows many different passages from the Vulgate Bible. You will be creating your own illuminated letter and coat of arms. First, you will need to make sure that your paper is vertical, so going straight up and down, rather than side to side or landscape style. And you're going to need a shield stencil. This is the stencil that you will trace to create the shield design for your coat of arms. Use a pencil and carefully trace around the shield stencil. Make sure you write your name on the back along with your period and day. Next, you're going to draw a large bubble letter for either the first letter of your first name or the first letter of your last name. So I'm going to be drawing a B. And you can make this bubble letter however you would like. It can be really, really fancy or it could just be kind of simple. You could also do a graffiti style bubble letter if you would prefer. Mine's going to be somewhat fancy. I'm adding a few little curly cues to the inside of my B. Next, you're going to look in the blue packet for some heraldry symbols that would symbolize you. So I decided that I would choose a crescent as one of my symbols. And you can put your symbol anywhere you'd like on your coat of arms. It can also be outside the shield um, of the coat of arms. It doesn't have to be on the inside. But my crescent is going to be on the inside. Try to find symbols that represent you. The next symbol that I chose was a fox. And the last symbol will be the symbol of the first son, or in this case, first daughter, since I'm the oldest of all of my siblings. You can also add lines to break up the space, and this will help later on when you're going to decorate your coat of arms even more.